Hey everybody, Ben and Karen here with We Go Fishing and welcome to Unsolicited Advice. Okay, in this uh, edition of Unsolicited Advice, if you're not familiar with this little segment that we do on YouTube and on Newsbreak, we uh, go on Reddit mm -hmm. and we find questions that Redditors have because Redditors have questions. And so we give them a little bit of unsolicited advice on how we would handle that situation. And so this one says that he's fishing on a pier and he's wondering if the fish are going to get hurt if he throws them back off the pier. Now, I will say um, it probably depends on the height of the pier. That'd be one thing to be and aware of. And the size of the and fish. And the size of the fish because the whole gravity thing. So that's mm -hmm. going to be one thing to recognize. But um, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a good thing to talk about to say, hey, how do we retrieve the fish? How do we put them back uh, when we are fishing? And what do we do? Well, I'd say, you know, if it's, if it's like a, a small trout or ladyfish that you don't need a net to pick it up and to reel that up then most likely your release will be fine um yeah. and as you throw it back it's going to be fine as long as you didn't handle it too long trout um tend to have a harder time the more you handle them yeah so be um, quick about it get that, but get, get your photos camera. and get it back in the water if you're not gonna you're not gonna keep it if it's under size or whatever but a smaller fish like that that can be brought up easily on your line without using a net should be okay to be um, tossed back in. Yeah, that would be the rule. If the, if the fish is big enough that you can you can haul it up to the pier without any without any difficulty, then you can drop it back in and it's probably not gonna have any difficulty. But if the fish is bigger than that, that's when we invested in a drop net. Um, they're, they're pretty inexpensive. I think ours was like, what, maybe 30? It's about $30. $30. They $30, have uh, so, yeah. $30 to $35, um, depending on uh, which one you buy. So, uh, yeah. I think we got one on Cabela's, but anyhow, yeah. you um, you do want one that um, is able to go, you know, kind of yeah, flat. It, it basically my... lays flat, and yeah, you're, has... you're going to lay it down, get the fish, and bring yeah, it. Yeah, you're gonna just drop it down to the water, lower it down with the rope, and you mm -hmm. know, have enough rope that you can get down to the water with it. And then you're gonna get the fish into mm -hmm. the basket, and you're gonna pull it up that way. And then you can actually put the fish back into the water the same way. If it's a larger fish, you can just drop so, it down, and it can. And, and again, the same thing. We don't handle it for very long. Mm -hmm. And if you if you do think that you're gonna need to have some trouble reviving it, mm -hmm. get it down to the beach and and, and work on it yeah. down there if you can. I mean, if you catch a 40 pound black drum and you can't keep that, I, I would definitely um, lower it down slowly, give yeah. it a chance to, and don't handle it too much. If you are worried that even you are concerned it wouldn't revive with that you can you know help it into the beach yeah go down to the over. beach with it and see if you can help it down there and get it back into the water the trick okay. is to get it back into the water if you're not going to keep it get yeah. it back into the water as quickly as you can so you know you have to just gauge if you're at the end of the pier and you have to walk all the way down to the beach to get it in the water that's just too long so yeah. you're going to have to use your drop net and you, you don't have it. an option and if you don't have a drop net and you say hey i don't want to put out the 40 bucks or so to go get one um, what you can do is you can get a five gallon bucket, you can drill some holes in the bottom, uh, you can lower get the fish into that bucket and as the, you pull it up the water drain out of the bottom of the bucket and then you can use it that way. You can, you can do that as well. Some people do that, but one of the problems is the handles, um, they aren't very secure. Yeah. So you, you can run into problems there, but that's another thing that people yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, and, and a heavy fish would definitely break. If you are going to drop it, try and drop it head first. That'd be another way to, to ensure um, as much as you can survivability. But hopefully that helps you um, when you're pier fishing. We've done a lot of pier fishing, so um, that's been things that we have done to mm -hmm. do our very best to try and ensure that we are handling the fish properly, getting them back in the water and things like that. And if you have questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. We do our best to uh, comment on all of them and to uh, respond to all of them. And until next time. May you always catch your limit.